Hello to our aspiring study abroad students! Are you ready for another hashtag study abroad guide with intake? Buckle up because intake is here to make your study abroad dreams a reality. Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Jo. And, and we, we are your, your intake, intake advisors, advisors ready to give you tips and advice for, for your study, study abroad, abroad journey. journey. Okay, start na tayo, Jen. First things first, why is the UK the best study destination for those students who want to pursue their bachelor's degree? Well, first, UK universities are globally recognized. Generally, they rank high on various world university rankings and produces competent students that greatly contribute to the society. Number two, you can expect a warm and welcoming community in the UK. There's always a Filipino community around the corner ready to help you in your homesickness. Third, you may choose to visit famous historical landmarks like Buckingham Palace and music festivals like Glastonbury to experience more of their culture. And on top of that, the UK offers specialized courses such as aerospace engineering, forensics, radiology, marine biology, and a lot more. You name it and your intake advisors will help you find it. But how do you enter a university in the UK if you're a student from the Philippines? Well, Jo, if you're under a K-12 program in the Philippines, you need to take an International Foundation Program first or IFP before you can study your bachelor's degree in the UK. If you want to know more about the IFP, where you can take it, the courses offered, as well as the expenses and requirements, we've got you covered. In this video, we will answer all the things that you need to know if you plan to pursue a bachelor's degree in the UK. Hold on to your seats and keep watching! An international foundation program is designed for students under the Philippine K-12 curriculum to fill in the gap between your current level of qualification and knowledge and the level needed to be admitted to a bachelor's degree in the UK. You see, students under the UK education system must complete their primary to secondary education for 13 years before they can enter their bachelor's degree. This is different from the Philippines K-12 curriculum comprising only 12 years of education before students can enter their desired bachelor's degree. So, the IFP serves as a bridge to supplement the slacking one year of education. You can think of it as a preparatory year before a student can enter year one of the university. That is right! With the help of our partner Pathway Providers, your IFP can be completed in just one year. Please take note that if you completed your high school program under an international baccalaureate or U.S. system of SAT, you don't need to take a foundation program. You may take a screenshot of this diagram that shows how an IFP works. First, apply to the partner pathway providers with intakes help and begin your study abroad journey. After you finish your IFP studies, you may now progress to your desired university and finally start your degree. It may all look a bit confusing at first, but don't worry! Your intake advisors will be able to answer all your questions and clarifications. Now that we've given you an idea of what an IFP is, let us introduce Intake's partner pathway providers and discuss some of the unique courses that they offer. But wait, you're probably wondering what a pathway provider is. Let me clear it up for you. Pathway providers are institutions that help students with the necessary skills before they enter their bachelor's degree. So Jen, are you ready to introduce our pathway partners? Yes, of course. First, we have Into Study. This pathway provider offers a wide range of courses you can choose from, such as business, law, medicine, and arts and design. To all aspiring medical students out there, take note that they are offering medicine courses just for you. They will help and equip you with knowledge and skills that you need to progress to medical schools. You can progress to the following universities through INTO. Next, we have Study Group. 
What's great about study group is that you will not be required to submit a portfolio if you're applying to an architecture program. If you plan to study IFP under study group, here are some of the universities you may progress to. If you have great interest in business courses, Oxford International is perfect for you. Not to mention, they have several universities you can progress to after you finish your IFP. You can check a few of them on your screens now. At Kaplan, they offer courses in business and analytics, finance, accounting and management, as well as fashion design and fashion management. Did you know that they are the only pathway provider of the University of Glasgow, which is one of the film locations for Harry Potter? Here are Kaplan's partner universities. Now, let's look into Mander Portman Woodward. If you are interested in liberal arts courses like international relations or the humanities, it is best to check MPW. Lastly, On Campus offers two progression schemes that you may apply. First is the one-to-one -one progression, which means that you are guaranteed into your chosen university. However, if you're still unsure of the university that you want to go to, they have the one-to-many pathway. This will give you enough time to think about your desired university progression. We can assist you in the following universities through the help of on-campus. Pathway providers thoroughly consider the students' preferences as well as their career goals in life. Some have centers inside the university campuses so students can quickly adapt to the campus environment. The courses we mentioned are just a small sample of what the pathway providers have to offer. That's right! And here at Intake, our expert advisors will guide and help you with all the information that you need to know for your studies in the UK. Now that you know what an international foundation program is, where to take it, and where you could possibly progress to, we're pretty sure that you're also curious about the requirements that you need to prepare in order to get in. Marami -marami to. So prepare your notes and let's start! First is your transcript of records and diploma. If you don't have your diploma yet, you will only be required to submit it once you complete high school. Next, you need to prepare and write your personal statement. This is where you will talk about your background, who you are, your academic achievements, your interests, and community involvement. You should be able to captivate the university's attention and prove why you deserve a slot in the program. Sounds challenging? No worries! Your intake advisors are here to help. Please take note that a personal statement is no longer required if you apply to INTO, the plan, and study group. Aside from that, you should also prepare an academic reference letter from one of your teachers, guidance counselors, or anyone from your school that could write about your school achievements. Next would be a copy of your passport. Make sure that your passport is not expired or about to expire. You also need to double-check that the spelling of your name on all the documents that you have is the same as what's in your passport. This is to avoid any problem for your visa application. You must also take an English language test such as the IELTS Academic for UKVI or Pearson for IFP. This is an exemption for Oxford International, which has its own English language program for free. Also, you don't have to take the IELTS exam if you're under the IB curriculum. Last but not the least, you need to secure your student visa. This serves as your gateway to study in the UK and get into your desired program. We know that this can be overwhelming. But again, no worries, because we're here to guide and help you. We'll make sure that all your documents are correct and complete before submitting them. Now, let's talk about the most frequently asked question. We get this inquiry a lot from our email, Facebook, IG, and calls. Now, the question is, how much do I need to prepare? Hmm. How much na ba, Joe? Well, the estimated tuition fee for the IFP in the UK ranges from 1.2 to 1.3 million pesos per year. This is on top of the tuition fee and the cost of living for an undergraduate degree in the UK, which will actually depend on the university that you're applying to 
and the location of your accommodation. Speaking of budget, there are pathway providers that offer discounts up to 320,000 pesos off of your tuition fee. Sounds great, right? Wow, that's a really big help. These are merit-based scholarships that are offered to students based on the university's assessment of your academic background upon admission. Right! So if you apply as early as now, you may avail of the early bird discount from some of our partner pathway providers. Now, aside from the tuition fee, you also need to prepare for your other expenses such as living costs, food, transportation, and other miscellaneous allowances. If you plan to live within the city of London, it would be best to prepare around 800,000 pesos per year. Not to worry, there are other places outside the city which would roughly be around 600,000 pesos per year. Your total expenses will depend on your location in the UK as well as your lifestyle. That is right! And take note that the living cost expense that we've mentioned are the standards set by UK Visas and Immigration or UKVI. Guys, I know it's a lot to process. Kaya naman, Intake is here to provide all the necessary assistance for your study abroad journey. We will guide you every step of the way. Hindi namin kay iwan, de ba Jo? Oo naman, because here at Intake, no one will be left behind. At ito pa, all our services are for free. Now let's hear from our very own Intake students, Anya and Caitlin, on what they have to say about their experiences with us. Hi, I'm Anya. I'll be doing the University of St. Andrews International Foundation Program. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I'll be doing the King's College London International Foundation Program. So we found out about Intake through our school. Um, our guidance counselor asked us to contact Intake so that we could do our application. I can describe my experience with intake on um, being amazing. And I can describe my experience with intake as convenient. So my intake advisor is Miss Belle Guzon. Um, she was really, really nice and she was accommodating with all my questions and inquiries. My intake advisor was Mr. Joanna and she was really easy to talk to. If I had any questions, I could always contact her and she would reply in like the matter of minutes and I'm just really thankful for all the help she's given me. I would definitely recommend Intake to other students because it was really helpful with my application to the UK. Yes, I would also definitely recommend Intake to other students because I feel like it just makes applying to the UK much easier. Great news from Anya and Caitlin. Let's wish them all the best on their study abroad journey. Grabe talaga, no? Just like BDO, here at Intake, we find ways to help you. And the best part is, Intake services are all for free. Yes, you heard it right. We won't charge you a single peso. So what are you waiting for? Come book a consultation with us, and together, let's make your study abroad dreams into our reality. We hope that you guys learn a lot from this video and that would encourage you to take your first step in achieving your study abroad dreams. Get to know more about Intake and stay updated with all our events by following us on social media. We have tons of events for you to join so that you can learn more about studying abroad. Before we say goodbye, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on all of our videos. You may also drop a comment below if you have any questions or clarifications. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed as much as we did. We'll see you next time in another episode of Hashtag Study Abroad Guide with Intake. Cheerio! Ciao!